Dean Blanchard here. Let me help you elevate your game by keeping it simple. Let's get going. Today I'm talking about looking at the target instead of the gun. Because if you look at these sights, which are there to help you line up before you call the bird, make sure the gun somewhat fits. And they're there to screw you up while you're shooting. Because the, we can only focus in on one thing at a time. So if I'm looking right here, I can't see the machine's blurry. If I'm looking at the machine, the gun is blurry. So if we're looking at the target, the gun is blurry. But we can see what the target's doing. The more we look here, the less we can see what the target is doing because it's fuzzy. We can't see the detail on it. We can't see it turn, and it doesn't. It feels further out, and it feels faster than it really is. So it's really important that, like on a target, like this crosser that we're going to do, that my eyes are over here looking for the target while my gun is out here. So eyes are here, gun is here. Now, to set up, like I've said in my videos, we're going to make sure I got a good spot there to break the target. I'm going to look at this target and then I want to be in harmony with it. So I want to somewhat sync with the bird, but it's more of in harmony because if I'm doing a pull away, I'm not perfectly syncing with the target. I'm kind of moving with it and then extending out in front and pulling the trigger. Keep it simple. See the target, that's the visual pickup point, before it gets to the gun. Just like driving on a highway. See it, move with it, shoot it. Pull. Just in harmony with the, with the target. Gave it a nice push in front. Now, we're going to do a uh, report pair. We're doing the crossing bird, and we're doing the second bird on report. Bang, bang. So, if we're looking at the gun, we're trying to find the second bird, it's going to be very difficult. We need to separate our eyes. So, we're going to break this one, get up here, nice high hold point, eyes lower. So, we're separating the eyes from the gun. This is simple. We're trying to see the target, comes to the gun, move the gun with the target, and shoot being aware of where the gun's at. And once we shoot the first one, shift our eyes over there, get our eyes on the target for the second one, keeping it there, following the target to the break point. It's eyes, then the hands. I shot the crossing bird. I came up for a high hold point, saw the target before the, the gun, and was able to easily break it. If I'm looking at the gun, it's hard to find the second bird, hard to find the first one, it's hard to tell what the target's doing. You're making it so much more difficult. Because this here is to trick you. And some people, because of that, they take them off. Other people like me, I still like as a visual reference, but I'm not looking at it. I'm looking at that target, and I can't stress that enough to look with it and then kind of sync with it or be in harmony with the bird to shoot it. Like and subscribe to my page. Have a great day.